You're watching a Newsmax special with climate expert John Casey about his new bestseller, Dark Winter, How the Sun is Causing a 30-Year Cold Spell. With record low temperatures making winters across the globe miserable, why has the global warming theory not been viewed as false? There is another perspective on climate change that has been ignored by establishment scientists increasingly dependent on global warming funding. Now, a growing number of experts are suggesting that the sun governs Earth's temperature much more than carbon emissions. Historically, scientists can see a clear correlation between solar cycles and Earth's climate. Periods of reduced sunspot activity have been marked by falling temperatures, including long periods known as ice ages. Understanding the dynamics of solar cycles is key to predicting the sun's future output and whether it will cause warming or cooling and one of the most important tools in plotting the cycles is the historical record, namely Antarctic ice cores, correlating with historical accounts of the last two little ice ages or solar minimums. In July of 2008, I published online my peer-reviewed science paper on the RC theory. It predicted what we've learned from past solar hibernations, past cold eras brought on by the 206-year cycle. These predictions can be ominous, but they can also be reassuring in that it's something we know will happen. We don't have to guess, we don't have to fear what's happening because we will know what's happening. However, it required me to go back and study a lot of history to find out exactly what people were going through 206 years ago and 206 years before that. Casey writes in Dark Winter that the French Revolution, which began in 1789 and ignited Europe into a period of long, deadly warfare, was actually brought on by falling temperature trends that accompanied the last great solar minimum, causing widespread crop failures and famine. The era was marked by the rise of Napoleon and his failed invasion into Russia due to the remarkably bitter cold weather typical of the time. There have been many instances all tied to major climate variations based on solar activity that have caused significant tribulation for the human species. Most notably, severe cold, crop damage that made people starve, people froze. Uh, it caused civil disturbances, political upheaval, governments were overthrown. This has been the history of these cold phases of this solar cycle, this solar hibernation. One only has to look at history to understand what's coming because history is repeating, because the sun is now repeating. It's all something that's very predictable. One of the beauties of the RC theory is that uh, it says that these cycles of the sun are so reliable and repeat with such regularity that they can actually be used as tools to predict future climate change. We have seen that in analysis of especially the 206 year cycle, that this cycle is in fact one that we use to make very specific predictions within a very short uh, time frame of what's going to happen with our Earth's climate. And thus far those predictions for virtually all of them have come to pass since we began making predictions in 2007. When we look at this now active 206 year cycle, we can get a very clear picture of how soon the Earth will get cold, how deep that cold will be, and how long it will last. What that says is that we have just gone through perhaps one of the last truly warm periods our species will see for hundreds, maybe thousands of years. In the next segment, John Casey explains how the new cold era will come with dramatic change, including increased volcanic eruptions and spikes in earthquakes. Make sure you get your copy of John Casey's bestseller, Dark Winter, available at bookstores everywhere, or check out our free offer at Newsmax.com slash Dark Winter. Millions of Americans are turning to Newsmax TV on Direct TV 349, Dish 223, and Verizon Fios 115. Online at NewsmaxTV.com, Roku, or Google TV with our free app from your iPhone or Android. So watch Newsmax TV now.